VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP are two of the most effective and useful functions you can come across in Microsoft Excel. Today, we're going to go over both of those. Right now, we'll start with the HLOOKUP. So the H is horizontal in horizontal lookup, and the V is vertical, as in vertical lookup. So vertical, we're looking up and down for data. Horizontal, we're looking exactly like it sounds, horizontally. Let's say we wanted to find the date for this, or the price on the 4th of 2005, of January. You go equals H lookup. We'll click that. And what do we want to find? This date, the 4th. Now, the problem with his, or this <clears throat> is that we don't have the fourth here exactly. What we can do is a later argument in the function. It'll let us look at something that's after this, but before this. So we can pick up January 2nd, January 31st, February 1st, March 5th, anything like that. And the price will give us the last date in that range. So we select the data, go here, we'll press F4. That's going to automatically lock these references so we can copy and paste this down, not have to do this function four different times, comma, and the row index number. So these are not um, numeric in terms of, you wouldn't say row 10 if it's in row 10. You would say the 10th row in the data. For example, this one, we're looking at the second row, but that happens to be row 2. So right here, we'll do row 2, not 21, 2, comma. And if we do zero, that'll give us an exact match. It's the same as false. So we can click that and you'll see that we get an error back when we close this because there is no January 4th. However, if it changes to one, two, 2005, we would get something like that, assuming we formatted it correctly. However, right now we're gonna go in here and instead of this false argument, we'll change it to true, 98. January 4th, it looks back to January 1st, finds it, problem solved. And then what we can do is we'll try this again, equals H lookup, lookup value, this date right here, comma, table array. We want the first, second row of data. We press F4, comma, and we want to find the second row of data. And then we're going to go with false. And what we should see here, or sorry, true. What we're going to do is get the data back from uh, 5 1 2005. So we should have a 105. There it is. And the other thing, when you do the F2 here, or F4, and you lock the cells, you make them an absolute reference. What you do is you uh, enable yourself to copy. So you can right click, copy, select these. And when we paste these, this one right here, we'll see that we get this 112. And then this one, we will see that we get 105. So copy, paste, there it is. And if we change these, we'll see our data changes. 106, 109, 105. And that's the H lookup. Now we're gonna move on to VLOOKUP. And most data you'll get in Excel, uh, whether it's exported from another ERP system, let's say SAP, uh, Salesforce, something like that, will come in this format. You'll have column headers and you'll have data below them. So income, income amounts, tax rates, tax rate amounts. What we'll do here equals V lookup. You can either click it, press tab, however you want to do it. And what's the value we want to find? This one. So you click right there, press comma, and you find your table array. So what you're looking for has to be the start of what your, uh, your table array is. So we start here. We want, we're looking at income. So we start on income. We move it over to the tab we want. Then we'll press F4. That makes it an absolute reference and locks these cells. And what that does is allows us to copy and paste this function up and down this entire uh, data row here, which we'll do in a second. Press comma, and we want to find the tax rate. So we see the tax rate is in this data table, the first column, second column. So we want to press a two. We don't reference A and B. That's not going to work for a VLOOKUP. We have to do it numerically. So first column, second column, comma, and we'll use false. We want an exact match. Enter, and we see that it's 15, 0, 15. So one more example equals VLOOKUP, lookup value, comma, select your data with the lookup value as the first column, lock the cells with F4, comma, first column, we want the second column, so we enter a 2, and we're going to use false. We want the exact match. 
close the parentheses, press enter, and we see that that's 0.3 or 30%. And you can change these answers like this. If you want it in percentage form, select them. You can pick that. There you go. The other thing that's great, because we did the F4 key and we have these locked down with the dollar signs, we can copy and paste it. So we'll right click, copy, select these, paste. 30,000, 34%, 100,000, 40%. There you go, that's a VLOOKUP. Now a little more complicated example. We're gonna do right here a, let's just move that there so it's even. So what we wanna find is this income amount and how are we gonna do that? We'll have to reference these tax rates. So what we'll do here is we'll take these tax rates and we'll copy them and paste them. This is just to show you a little bit a little bit more of how flexible it is. When we use this one, we're going to see the differences between the true uh, approximate value or the match and false, which is the exact match. Equals VLOOKUP. We wanna find this and we don't see it here. So that's a problem. We're probably gonna get an error. So we do this, we select what we wanna find, select the data table, absolute reference with F4, comma. We wanna find the second column, first column, second column and we're going to use false. Close that, and it's an error because there is no uh, negative $1,000. So there's gonna be nothing that would say, hey, if there's a loss of $1,000, there's no taxable income. And what we'll do here is copy it down. And since most of these numbers aren't matches, so this 30,000, yes, we should get a 34. We shouldn't get anything for 29, 98, or 104, but we'll bring this down. And because we used F4 with the absolute references, Paste it, what do you know? One match exactly. Now we're gonna use true, which is the approximate one. And just like with HLOOKUP, we're gonna find numbers in between these. Since there is no tax applicable here, we're still probably gonna get an error, but that means it's working properly. Equals VLOOKUP, find this value, table array, F4 to lock the cells. And we wanna find the second column and we're going to use true, close that. Press enter, nothing, but we will copy this. So we right click, copy, drag down here, and we paste. What do you know? It finds numbers in between. So you can see that there are different reasons you'd wanna find different things. Here, for example, the product ID, you would wanna use a false one for an exact match. You don't wanna find if you have a C413, something in between these that won't work for you. You need it exactly. So equals VLOOKUP. And just to show you, you don't have to look at dollar signs only in percentages. We want to find this ID number in this table array, F4, so we can copy and paste them down and not write the function multiple times. Column number is two, close, and we're going to find the exact match. You can also use a zero for false and one for true if that's easier. And we see this, B211, B211, that's a 5.2. And we can drag this down. If we go to dollar signs, those two are the same, 5.2. So you see it does look up the same thing multiple times. C413, that's $5, $5. B242, 420, B242, 420. There you go. That's VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in a nutshell.